I've been thinking a lot in this crisis about hope. You know, it's felt at times as we read the news and as we hear what's happening around the world, there hasn't been much to be hopeful about. Like, if we get our hopes up, we might just be disappointed. I've been really encouraged by this verse from Proverbs 13 that says this, Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. It's so easy when it feels like we're faced with bad news just to, to hold off hope as much as we can, to, to not become hopeful about things. But actually, hope established in something like God is a hope that we can depend on, a hope that we can base our lives upon. I love this idea that hope isn't something just to be placed in the future, but hope's something we can find right now. One of my favourite authors, Eugene Peterson, the writer of the Message translation, said this, Hope is not about the future. It obviously has to do with the future, but it's a virtue that's cultivated in the present. And I've been thinking about how I can cultivate hope in my life right now. I've struggled with depression for over 10 years, and at times it makes me feel completely hopeless. And so I found a new daily habit, which is to pause every day, to thank God for something that he's doing, to, to place my hope in something that he's going to do for me or through me or in me. I want to encourage you to do the same, to place your hope in God, not to allow your hope to be deferred, but to allow it to become a tree of life. Let's pray. God, I thank you for your hope the hope of the resurrection, the hope of a life beyond death, the hope of life in all its fullness here and now. I pray that you might give me hope today to follow you with everything I have. In Jesus' name. Amen.